Road safety. I have a cunning plan. Ash was a young man who'd been going through a difficult time. He was feeling stressed at home, so was living in his own flat. He'd not been going to school so much, as he wasn't learning anything. Like so many dyslexics, he found school boring. Well, one night he was chilling with a mate, listening to music, drinking alcohol, and smoking cannabis. A stone hit his window. It was another lad with a stolen car, asking if Ash and his mate wanted to go for a spin. A split decision needed to be made. The choice would impact on the rest of his life. Before he had time to think, he was grabbing his stuff and heading for the door. Well, what was the worst thing that could happen? So there they were, kings of the road, cruising along, having a laugh. So at high speed, they took one last corner before calling it a night. The booze and the weed was now really affecting the driver. Bang! The car left the road and the impact was immense. After three months, Ash started to come out of the coma, but so much had changed. First off, there was no sign of his so-called mates. Second, he realized that he had undergone emergency surgery on his brain due to the swelling from the impact. He also realized that he could not speak and tubes were attached all over his body. He was being fed through one and waste was being taken via others. He was in a mess, unable to communicate, unable to walk. This was scary. How bad had he been hurt? With the support of his nan and other family members, a long process of recovery started. Months of physio and further surgery. Time passed and with, and with a lot of hard work, work and determination, Ash pulled through. through. He learned to use a computerized talker and get around using an electric chair. He moved out of rehab and got his own flat again, but life had changed more than he could have ever imagined. He was bitter. Why me and not the other guys? Ash got to thinking, what do I do with my life now? Well, the desire to tell his story to others so that they don't make the same mistakes started to take shape. And after featuring in a county council and police road safety video, Ash decided to make this film. So, enough of the animation. Let's hear from Ash himself. Hi, I am Ash, and this is my second awareness video. It's more up to date, and so I hope it will touch more hearts. After my crash, it felt like a totally different me, from being able to walk and talk, to being in a wheelchair and unable to speak. I would not wish my state of life on my worst enemy, not for all the money in the bottom of a diamond cave. I hardly ever went into school, I knew best and thought I was untouchable. Nobody knows what's on the other side of your choices. The truth is, I don't even know myself, but... I am still alive today, when I could be six foot under by now. So don't mess your life up in the same way as I did. I was chilling with my mate and then before I knew it I was in a car with a guy I hardly knew who had been drinking and smoking. It all happened so fast. I am okay with my life now. I have good and bad days, but I am mostly happy. You might not be so lucky. I survived. I didn't want to bring back all of these bad memories, I only did so, to hopefully save your lives. Anybody else, might think they know what they are talking about when it comes to making the right choices. How the hell would they know, when they have not lived through it? So really think, think, about who you get in the car with, and always keep the seatbelt on. Stay positive. Peace and love. Ash better known as DJ Nice One.